Hello and greetings from Brunei Darussalam. This is a collaborative presentation from Ms. Azimatul Ihsani Moksen from Maktab Duli Pengiran Muda Al Mutadibillah, Ministry of Education, Brunei Darussalam, Dr. Masita Shahril and Mr. Khairul Amilin Tenga from Sultan Hassan Al Bolkiah Institute of Education, University of Brunei Darussalam, Dr. Muhammad Anshari from Center for Lifelong Learning, University of Brunei Darussalam, and Mr. Miftahul Huda from Faculty of Islamic Civilization, University of Technology Malaysia. The title is The Learning of Integration in Calculus Using the Autograph Technology. The use of technology in a classroom allows learners to become more active in the learning and not just be receivers of information. Furthermore, mathematical software such as Autograph, Geometer's Sketchpad, and Graphics Calculators are helping students to produce quicker calculations as well as understand abstract mathematical concepts. ICT applications can take manual graphing of statistical calculations away from the traditional method of teaching, provide better visualization of the subject, and perform accurate and quicker calculations. Autograph technology is yet another ICT application that offers such provisions. The results of previous studies that integrated autograph technology in the learning of algebra and calculus have shown that autograph had a positive impact on students. The present study aims to investigate if utilizing the autograph software will improve students' performance, particularly for students without additional mathematics background. One of the objectives of the mathematics syllabus stated that finding the area and volume of revolution using definite integrals would involve graphical representation and conceptual understanding. Specifically, the use of two-dimension and three-dimension modes in autograph may enhance the teaching of integration. The research question for this study is, how does using autograph improve students' overall achievements in the learning of an area and volume by integration. The sample for, for this study was taken from two classes of 60 students in one of the junior colleges in Brunei Darussalam. The first class comprised of students who studied additional mathematics in their secondary school years, the group Y, and the second class with students that did not, the group Z. The test instruments, the pre- and post-tests, consisted of one question to evaluate definite integrals, three questions on area, while the last three questions on volume. The pre-test was administered before the intervention lessons. The items in the pre-test were designed to measure students' prior knowledge on graphical representation in two dimension and the understanding of the concept of area by integration across different mathematical abilities. During the intervention that took place for both the classes, the students learned how to find the area and volume by integration using autograph from the first author who assumed the role of the teacher. Finally, the post-test was given to the students after the completion of the intervention lessons. The post-test items were designed to measure students' overall performance in finding the area and volume of revolution by integration. The initial sample was 60 students in total. However, three students were excluded since they did not complete the entire intervention lessons. The first sample comprised of 29 students from Group Y, those with additional mathematics background, and 28 students from Group Z, without additional mathematics background. A paired t-test was also used to measure, to compare the results between the tests to examine whether there were any differences in the students' overall achievements through the intervention lessons using autograph. The Kronbach Alpha for the pre- and post-tests were 0 0.774 and 0 0.818 respectively. There were improvements on the students' performance as shown in the table, which indicated that the use of autograph intervention contributed to the students' achievement through the graphical representation in addition to the three-dimension modeling it offered. When an 
95% confidence interval was taken in a paired sample t-test. The results showed that there was a significant difference in the pretest with mean of 26.42 and standard deviation of 10.356 and the post-test with mean 28.49 and standard deviation of 10.800 and this indicated a significant changes. Subsequently, a paired sample correlation was made to compare the results between the pre- and post-tests, and the results show that there is a significant difference with a correlation of 0.867, which also indicated significant changes. The significant difference between the tests revealed that students scored better marks in their post-tests hence implying that autograph software in teaching and learning improves students' performance in finding area and volume and in integration. From the statistical analysis, the means and standard deviations from both groups Y and Z were taken and compared, as shown in the table. It is clear that both groups Y and Z performed better in their post-test Overall analysis shows that students from group Y performed slightly better. There is a significant difference in mean between groups Y and Z in both the pre and post tests. In the pre test, group Y's mean value is 34.07 with standard deviation of 6.176. And the mean value for group Z is only 18.5 with standard deviation of 7.501. This implies that students with additional mathematics background are at an advantage due to their strong mathematical background. Furthermore, the effect size calculated using the value of Cohen's D via T test were 2.28 and 2.14 for pre and post tests respectively. The use of autograph not only benefited the performances of students without additional mathematics background, but also further enhanced the performances of those students who already have a strong mathematics. In conclusion, the analysis of the tests carried out for both the classes showed that the students scored better in the post-test. Therefore, this indicated that the use of autograph technology improved the overall achievements of the students, including those who had not studied additional mathematics. It is recommended that further intervention should be carried out in the future to further enhance the students' mathematical performance. Importantly, teachers must be skillful and be competent in the use of ICT to fully maximize the benefits of its applications. These are the list of references used for this presentation only. And thank you for listening to our presentation.